Welcome back to another review here on Planet Podcast of Peacemaker on HBO Max. Now, this is episode three. It's as far as we can go in the series until Thursday because no new episodes are out. But if you watch the first two reviews on this one, uh, I'm going to stick with what I kind of said. I, I think this show has a lot of promise. I think that a lot of it was a dumpster fire, but it's something you can't stop watching. You're like, this is so bad, but I want to watch it unfold. I think that's what's happening. And this episode was no different. I think that the character that they've given John Cena to play in Peacemaker and the way that it's written for him suits him very well because I think that comedy in both physical and in the lines that he's given works well for him. You know, you look at it and go, this, it's so stupid, but it works well because I'm not saying that John Cena couldn't be a great actor, but I don't think his range is all that amazing when it comes to roles that he's played. And I've seen a bunch of his movies, so I feel like he kind of plays mostly the same kind of character, which a lot of these guys do get typecast in. But this one, I think, is pretty funny for him. I don't know why. It, it works. It's kind of dry adult humor, and I enjoy it. I think the dynamics that we have amongst the cast are good. The only person that I would really say doesn't really fit in still to me would be Daniel Brooks playing Leota. I don't know that she really kind of fits in this group yet. She's such an outlier as far as just where they perceive her background and the way that she acts in the show. I don't know that she really fits in. I get having like a diverse cast. She might be a little bit too out there to go in with this group. That's all. And I'm saying that under the pretense that she's not supposed to be an action hero of any kind. She's just kind of supposed to be like a support role for this team. But I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. I think uh, Jamil in there was hilarious. The guy plays Judo Master funny. The whole thing is great. The guy who played Vigilante apparently got um, recast. So we'll see where that goes. But the character of Vigilante, I think, is hilarious. Um, you know, just a kid running around in a suit that he probably made. And it's funny. So let's move on to episode three, where we actually learn kind of what a butterfly is as the, the group here is tasked with eliminating a member of Congress. And so they staking them out, and they show up, and you know, it just goes so. Some of the stuff that's funny is how ridiculously stupid the argument is over the kid, the guy's kids. He's like, oh man, kid's ugly. <laughs> no, like, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. Those two kids came out, those parents, are you sure? You know, is that the whole butt baby joke? It's just funny. And then you have the, the, the slapstick humor of there of, of uh, Leota just pulling up the iPad and boom, freaking naked picture of her girlfriend on there. Freaking hilarious. That, and then the segue when John, John Cena goes, man, that's a weird segue <laughs> as they go back to the mission. That's, those, those are the things that make the show really funny and something that could be kind of serious, but it's not, right? And I think that's really what separates this show kind of from all the stuff that we saw on the CW and I talked in the other episode about like Arrowverse and The Flash and those, those uh, what are the other one, Legends of Tomorrow or whatever it was. I think it's what makes this so funny as more of an adult show with those humor lines in it. And I also, I think that's why it suits John Cena well. I think it, I think it does. So we saw him go up there and they're sitting there camping out, waiting to, you know, execute this guy because he didn't have the shot. And Vigilante shows up, and they're just, it's just like, man, you expect this to be an absolute shit show. His jokes, John Cena's jokes, Peacemaker, against Judo Master were hilarious. It's so funny. And the fact that they cast Judo Master, this little short guy, guy who just kicks their ass, is great. It was really fun to watch. So we see him sit there, and he wants to draw even the little things. Like, what? Where's the, where's the double piece on my gun? It's engraved on everything. And then he goes to draw it. <laughs> It's just so bad. And he's just like, shit. <laughs> it's great, man. It really is. It's these little moments. And you get a lot of them. And that's kind of what I'm liking about this show. Is it's not like it's constant in your face. They're trying to make it. It doesn't feel like they're trying to make it funny. It just is funny. Right? It doesn't feel like uh, it's like really over leveraged in, in, your, in the show. Like they're trying to make you laugh. They're just doing things, and it's funny. I think it works really well. So we saw him have the uh, the reaction to the family in there that are apparently all butterflies, and they're sucking up this liquid goo, and it's all weird. And then he just can't pull the trigger 
And Vigilante is like, move over, buddy. Ah, he starts humming his tune and just executing him. And I was like, what? It's just a kid, just a just a dude who's hanging out with him. You know, and then they go down this uh, epic fight scene where they get kidnapped. And, and even the stuff where he captures them and he ties up Vigilante. <laughs> He's got him hung up there and he's just zapping him. He's like, give me all you got because it's not hurting him at all. Hilarious. It's so funny. He tried to cut his toe off and he's just got dull clippers. That stuff is great. So we saw all that unfold. And then, you know, John Cena had his peacemaker moment where he said, peace out, motherfucker. And that's a great line. It really is. It's like his um, Arnold Schwarzenegger line. And I liked it. I enjoyed it. And then we saw the little uh, bug crawl out of the face and fly up there. And that's apparently what the butterflies are, is some kind of creature that is inhabiting people. And at the end of the show, they showed all these suspected butterflies on the screen. There's a whole lot of them. So clearly it's a big problem. But I want to say going forward that I thoroughly enjoy the show. You can see I got the Peacemaker t-shirt on right here. It's says, fuck it, Peacemaker. But I do hope that you guys watch and enjoy the show. And we can talk about it because so far, I think it's been great. It's, it's just fun. It's just absolutely fun. I think for adults, it's fun. It's a little bit over the edge for a lot of kids, for sure. And I wouldn't suggest letting your, your eight-year-old watch it. But the show's great. I liked all the characters so far. I like where it's going. I like the dynamic they're building there. They're giving you a little bit of uh, rapport with, with each one of them a little at a time. Even the, uh, the moment where um, the moment where Clemson is up there trying you know, screw it in the camera to the tree and he shares a feeling he's never shared before. You're like, what? He's like, you've never said you've been cold? And he's like, no. What am I, some pussy bitch? It's like, what? You know, and it just gives you these little insights into these characters, and they're fun. Um, you know, we saw that, and we even saw, uh, what did he call him at the end of the, the tech genius or the economist? So even the part where John gets over there, he sees the judo master leaving, and he just decides he's going to go ram into him, and he's freaking out, and then starts hitting him with the crowbar. You know, his reaction to all that is just funny. The whole thing is hilarious. I cannot wait to watch more episodes of this show. I hope they go more than one season. I think it, I think it really is a role that John Cena plays well. I don't feel like uh, the Suicide Squad did him justice in compared to what he's capable of doing in this series. So let me know what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. Check out some Peacemaker t-shirts. I've got three of them up now. Might make a few more. And uh, order you up some gear. And I'll see you guys on the next one.